next morning. My legs feel happy as I head to the office. Honestly, I don't want to go. How can I show my face after causing everyone all that trouble? Every step I take closer to the company makes me feel an even greater sense of irrational fear, spreading self-hatred. Finally, I arrive in front of the company, place my hand on the sliding door and exhale deeply, and prepare myself for the worst. Good morning. Sorry about yesterday. Good morning. What are you apologizing about? Young and I heard you went and ran all the way to do a job site yesterday. You've got some spirit in you, especially for a kid these days. Raise my head astonished. They're not, scold they're not all scolding me, in fact, they're praising me. Uh, why? Why? Because you ran over this work site, kid. I see. Hey, you, Sen. Does this kid know what happened? I don't understand what he's saying, but it seems like he means Yoshino when he talks about you, Sen, as he comes out from the back of the office. No, it's you, Ogazaki. Good morning. He's smiling uncharacteristically. Good morning. You've got a strange look on your face. Of course I do. I came here expect completely expecting to get yelled at. Mistakes happen. The important part is how you recover from them. There's a sense of composure in his words. If you do everything you can, then there's all there are always gonna be people who respect that. That's one of the things I'd like about this job. I think you did absolutely everything you could yesterday. So I went around telling everyone about what happened, and they all agreed with me. But if I hadn't messed up, I'm used to you goofing up. While well, what Yoshino says is true, I'm still not satisfied with the situation, but you spent, you even spent your day off. I didn't do it for you, I did it for a customer. That job had to be finished by yesterday. Are you still not satisfied? Shake my head sideways without saying a word. If anything, I feel full of guilt. That's why I can't bring myself to take advantage of Yoshino-san's kindness. When I do this, Yoshino-san's expression slightly changes slightly. It's not a big change, it's unmistakable. If you're doing something stupid like feeling bad or guilty about what happened, you need to remember this. If your plan is to keep doing this job, someday you'll have a newbie like you on your own. Of your own. Someone young and reckless just like you. When that happens, if that newbie messes up, you follow through for them. If you want to pay me back in some kind of way, do that. That's your job. And it also... Love. I would prefer to not have that... Hear that last word. But there's something I can say in reply. It's still nothing more than a child who he carries around on his back. They will come though when I stand and walk on my own. That's why... Okay, I understand. I'll remember that. I keep working my hardest to get better. Barely able to form the words, so instead I bow over and over again. What are you about to cry for? Yoshino mumbles the words as if shocked. Everyone pats my shoulders to comfort me. When I look back on things, I may consider this the first day I truly began working here. A lot of things have started to go smoothly. Ever since that day, work has been good. I'm refreshed every night after work by talking for hours with Nagisa. While waking up in the morning is still as tough as ever. I'm motivated to get out there when I see Nagisa's sleeping face. As for Nagisa, she's started talking to Sheena and Sugisaka more. Because they finally have more time now that they're done with the qu choir club. Looks like our lives have started to calm down. We're now on our way to a weekly visit to Furukawa Bay home. Not big. Uh, Tomoe-kun, there's something I want to ask you. Nagisa begins speaking to me as she holds a Tupperware container. Huh? It's about my father. What about the old man? Is he making trouble for Sanai? Again by sexually harassing her? No. Um, well, people my father used to do theater with are starting a small acting troupe and seem to be planning a kickoff performance. Well, that sounds nice. Okay. Must be worrying Nagisa. She has to be thinking that he would be part of the group. If only she hadn't made him give up on the dream. My dad even got an invitation to the performance too. He must want to go. Probably. To production by his old friends after all. But he's saying that he can't because he has work. What's he saying that for? He found half days to take off plenty of times before. No, it's not a half day trip. The performance is in Kyushu, actually. Now that's far. 
it'll take two days even by the highway bus, bus. But can he just leave the store for a few days? I know that my father often leaves the store to go play, but he still takes the time to properly bake the bread every morning. Oh, so then this is his only option would be to close for the two days. I think he's saying that he won't go because he doesn't want to neglect his job like that. He's kept the bakery open every day for such a long time now. It's probably not the only reason. I bet it's because he's obstinate too. I can see him acting like he's not interested in going at all in front of Nagisa. It's not hard to imagine. But I really want him to go. Sure, I can understand that. So tomorrow, kun Could you bake this bread in this place? <laughs> you? <laughs> Wait. You, Tomoe kun I'm sure I said your name just now. I can't take the old man's place. He used to work at the bakery, Tomoe kun I never baked the bread, though. My mother will help you. <laughs> Is that supposed to reassure me? I start staring off in the distance without even meaning to. I will have work anyway. It's next weekend. You said that you're free on Saturday because you didn't have any work. Oh, yeah. I have school, so I can I can only help in the early morning and afternoon. It'd be best if I could bake the bread, but, well, it's a physically demanding job, so I can't do it for long. That's why I'm asking you to do it, tomoe -kun. Is that too much to ask? Uh... Oh, Alright. Ah. It's not too much to ask, it's impossible. And the old man's not going to let me take over for him regardless. I'll ask him myself too. Even if he did, he's obviously not going to say no. Despite how he might act, he considers himself a bit of an artisan. You know, that's not all. Considering the circumstances here, he's sure to stick to his guns until the end. That may be true, but it's not like this is a troop's final performance or anything, right? And this is how they're celebrating getting started. That means they've got a lot of dates ahead of them. They'll show up close to here sooner or later. Yeah, you may be right. It'll probably be so hard for the old man to keep acting natural. But even Nagisa will try to butt in and say something. I figure it's best to keep Nagisa out of this. I'm sure the old man will write a reply or something, so we don't need to worry about it so much. Okay. She nods slightly, then brings up the topic again. Once June arrives, I go to work, location close to the Furukawa household. Using a spare moment during my break, I visit their house so I can see Sonai. The old man is taking, talking to someone in front of the store. A very young man wearing a suit, looking to be around the same age as me. I guess I'll wait a bit. Before long, he gives the old man a very deep bow, takes his leave. I then make my appearance as if replacing him. Sup? Uh, what? It's you? Don't scare me like that, I almost thought you were Sonai. Oh, I got something on your conscience again? Not really. So what'd you come here for, you little punk? <laughs> You're even still in your work clothes. It's not like you came here for anything specific. It's just window shopping, eh? So where's Sana? She's off at neighborhood associated meeting. Guess I came out of that time, huh? Tch. What, you were trying to try for Sana? Why don't you stop with the sauna, this and sauna that, and come see your dear little Akio once in a while instead? You want me to say that? Yeah, I'd quite like that. Let's try it out then. Turn on my heel and leave the storefront. I then redo my arrival from there. Sup? What, it's you? Don't scare me like that, I almost thought you were sauna. It's not me. It's not, it's me. It's Tomoya. What'd you come here for, you little punk? I was just wondering if my dear little Akio is staying healthy. Don't make me say something so ridiculous. <laughs> I'm embarrassed here too, you know. Where's Sanai? <laughs> She's off at a neighborhood associating meeting. Guess it came at the best possible time then, huh? You bastard, I'm supposed to be your husband, you know. That doesn't matter. Let's explore together fully today. How healthy your body really is. Alright, guess I'll work Nate today. That's dumb. My customer was just... <laughs> would just all freak out and run away. You're the one who said it. Whatever, let's get back to the point. Yeah, I feel like I'm at my limit here, too. You gonna come in and wait for Sane? No, I don't have that much time. Uh, let's leave in a bit. See, well, you need what you want, then. The old man goes back inside the store. I follow after him. 
I'm thirsty. Go attend the store for a bit. <laughs> Don't ask me to do something like that. It's just for a moment. Even so, you still shouldn't be asking me. He ignores me and goes back into the house anyway. Before he does, he places something on the register. I ended up really find myself looking at it. There were documents of A4 papers stapled together. To more cram school opening tour. That was the title. A cram school. Why the hell are you reading other people's stuff without their permission? A man came back holding a bottle of tea in his hand. What's this about an opening tour for a cram school? The old man lined up two glasses on the register and silently poured his tea. Old man? Here. He hands one of the glasses to me. Thanks. We both stand next to each other as we set for tea. Sound nice tea is delicious. Agreed. So what's this about a cram school? You little. Trying to stick your nose in private, my private business. How much of a woman are you? That's not it. It's just that this house is really important to me. That's all. It's Damn good thing you said that. Said there. You better not tell anyone about this, alright? Okay. You probably came across them plenty of times when you were living here. Sana has their own private school here. Ah. It's because there wasn't actually a proper cram school around here. There's gonna be one now. Close by? Yeah, you can walk there from here. He came in to say hi earlier. The teacher, I mean. And he had this with him. He knew Sana was having a cram school here. What do you say? He first requested that Sanae come work for him, and he then asked if she'd bring her students with her. In other words, he wanted to absorb both Sanae and her students in his own school. That's kind of a dick move, isn't it? No, I'm sure what you're imagining is off the mark here. Why? That guy was... Sanae's student. Huh? I told you before, didn't I? Sanae used to be a teacher. He was one of her students back from back then. Apparently you promised Sanai when you graduated, someday I want to teach the children here in this town just like you. And so he left town, studied at a university, and got his teaching license. Then he came back to this town. Wonderful, ain't it? So if you consider who he is, this just means that the dream he vowed in front of Sanai will become true. And the way he spoke, he also just wants the children to be taught in a better environment. Matched to being considerate of the town and even cherishes the children. He still hasn't come face to face with Sane though. So what do you think Sane will say when she hears it? Wouldn't she go? Of course she wouldn't go. She went away. We'd go out in business. People only come all the way here because she's here. Don't tell me you didn't notice even that. Yeah, I guess you're right. I didn't think that was all there was to it, but I also didn't want to spoil how old the old man thinks Sane is necessary to the store. Not to mention she likes bread since that's what we've been working so hard on together up until today. So of course she won't leave. So, yeah. She might just hand over her students instead. You can see that happening too. But doesn't Sonia want to keep teaching? Yeah, naturally. But you know her, she's not the selfish type. That's right. I have a similar worry myself all the time. Because Nikki's exactly the same as her. And so I understand the inner conflicts the old man must be having right now. So then, what to do now? He finally says with a smile, as if trying to blow away the dark atmosphere. The next day, I slip out during my break and hide off to the Furukawa household. I hope I'll at least be able to see Sanai today. A grade school kids form a group and walk toward me. After passing them by, I finally notice Sanai waving in front of the store. So these are Sanai San students take a closer look and I think I know some of them. My tomorrow san Good afternoon. Sup? You just finish your class? Yes. How about you tomorrow san Are you still busy working? Yeah. Uh, we just happen to be in the neighborhood so I went and slept out during my break time. I figured my fatigue would all but vanish if I just got to talk to you a bit, son. I? I'll talk to you anytime you want. If a little old lady like me is good enough for you. You're not an old lady at all. I only ever feel like I'm talking to a girl just a little older than me. A girl? I'm happy to hear that. Sanae's San really never changes. She always seems like a schoolgirl who'd suddenly become a housewife. I'm pretty jealous. What do you mean? How, uh, of how they get to have you for a teacher? Do you want to te me to teach you too, Tomoe San? Of course. Thank you very much, but I think you might be a bit big for that now. 
I only teach up to high school level. And that's pretty amazing in itself though. It's not amazing at all. Besides, there's no need for you to study anymore, Tomoe said. Ah, uh, that's true. It's uh, unfortunate, really. Besides, it'll come to an end real soon anyway. Huh? What did you say just now? I said it's going to come to an end, my cram school. There's an actual proper sc uh, cram school being founded close by. The children I'm teaching right now are going to be transferred there. Is that so? Hearing this uh, so suddenly, I should probably be surprised right about now. However, I only think of her as pitiful when I consider how she's just resigning herself. You don't look very good. Well, of course I don't. I mean, how can you decide something so important like that so easily? It wasn't an easy de decision. It may not look like it, but I was really troubled. Why are you saying this to me with a smile? Well, that's who Sana is, but I thought it's best this way, even if, even if that guy hadn't made the promise with you. So you knew. Sorry, I heard about it from the old man. Why do you even have to quit? There are plenty of children around. You shouldn't have to turn over your students like that. It's the parents that are being thoughtful for me. Uh, <laughs> but it's the parents that are being thoughtful for me. Huh? I'm a baker. Yeah, that's right. I opened my school here in the spare moments I had off in the job. So by sending them the children to a different cram school, the parents are also making things easier for me. You enjoy doing this, right, Sanai? Have you told them this? Yeah, of course I have. Then why won't they understand? It seems like she would be bad at applying pressure on people like that. But that's right, the old man. The old man's here too. He would have told them whatever needed to be said. Tomoe san which then they called my name. Yeah, please listen to Tomoe san She being like Nagisa. Yeah, I'll listen. When she talks to me like that, I automatically find myself becoming obedient. Even someone like me was being <laughs> bit helpful. Says, look straight, looking straight at me. But if things could become such that someone like me wouldn't be necessary anymore, I think that would be best. Are you really all right with that? Yes, I've had more than enough already. Talking as if she hadn't been the only, been the one who's been selfish all this time. It was already about time for me to head back. I guess it's impossible to convince her in such a short time, even if I had did have a longer though. It doesn't seem like I'll ever have to, ever be able to persuade Sane. She had already made up her mind. Don't have the confidence I can. I fully realize my own powerlessness. I've known her for a long time now and watch her up close from right beside her. But I still don't feel I know her enough. Maybe I'm the one who's out of it here. Sanagi said there's something I want to talk about. The same evening I bring up this subject over dinner. Yes, what is it? She puts her down, down her chopsticks and assumes an inquisitive posture. No, you don't need to put down your chopsticks. We can talk while eating. Okay. Takes her chopsticks to the end, popping a boiled lotus root into her mouth. So I went over to your parents' house this afternoon. Was there something you needed to do there? Not really, I just slipped away during my break, since I happened to be working nearby. Is that so? And so I had to talk with Sane. Okay, please tell me what you talked about. Yeah, I'd like you to hear this. Tell her about Sane's decision, uh, what Sane had decided to do about the new cram school that's opening up. I didn't know. You're unfair, Tomoe kun keeping my family's problems all to yourself. I don't want you to come consult me immediately. Sorry about that. No, I didn't mean to accuse you or anything. I'd just like to think I'm along with you. I guess you're right, since it'd be sad for Sane if she had just to just turn over all our students like this. You're like my mother, Tomoe kun Yeah, I... Huh? You like my mother to my- yeah, yeah, of course I do, she's your mother. Wait, you're not telling me you're jealous, are you? Ah, no, it's definitely not like that. Tomoe kun let's try our best. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be trying our best for here, though. That's right, we should think of something. For a while, we eat while groaning in thoughts. How does something like this sound? Have we thought of something? Yeah, we can just have a talk with mom's students. I probably don't want to leave mom's cram school either, so I'm sure they'll support us. You want to go to their parents' house and try convincing them that way? 
Yeah, that's right. Indeed, it may be a simple plan, but it does seem like it had the best results. Let's do that then. Can you make some time to my kun? Um, I think you can take the day off soon enough. My next day off, we start moving at noon. It was a Saturday, so the kids should be heading home right about now. I went out and borrowed the register from my dad. This we can go visit them door to door. Still though, it's gonna be really obvious that we're pulling the strings here if we go visit every single one of those kids' parents. Ah, oh, that's right, there's a blind spot. Let's grab just one and gather them together from there. Ah, Tomoe Kun, you're smart. Nikita calls one of the students with a public telephone. Comes out of the booth. How'd it go? Yes, I just phoned everyone. They're going to all gather up. Then 30 minutes later, the area around us had become really lively. <laughs> Brats. So what is it? We're busy, you know. Do you think these, are going these two are going out? <laughs> these kids. Are you going out with this guy, lady? What's with your language? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. So you're not going out? No, we're going out. You go, lady. Woo. <laughs> the kids instantly get excited. Shut up already, you little punks. What's with this guy? He's got caught up his now just because he's got a girlfriend. She's only going out with you out of pity, you know? Whatever you noticed. You little shits. I'll try saying that one more time. We'll see if your mouth still works after that. Tomoe Kun, you shouldn't get mad at it, children. A child. Can you really call these guys children? We still definitely count as kids legally, you know? <laughs> just how old are you supposed to be, you little punk? Nachan's in trouble. Smack. I wasn't talking about Nachan, you know. Don't make up trouble on your own. Actually, are you still using the same trick from one year ago? Go drop out already, already. Seriously. <laughs> Tomoe Kun, please calm down. <laughs> That's right. It's just a lady says. It's just as the lady says. We were the one going woo woo earlier. So you see, the reason I had you all come together like this is. Once Nagisa feels the kids have quieted down, now she starts talking. Because of my mother. I'm sure you've already heard about it from your mother, but you're all going to be transferred to a new cram school. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. Nagisa, uh, but you could teach these kids too. And well, there's something that's that happened because your mothers don't want to inconvenience my mother. But my mother wants to keep on teaching you all. You all want her to keep teaching you too, right? Yeah, but... What's wrong? Is there a problem somewhere? Town has been looking tired lately, so... Huh? And the comment Nagis is at a loss for wood words. It's almost like she's been suffering sleep de deprivation. Yeah. It wasn't just the parents that were being considerate, these kids were too. I can't imagine Sanai being so tired that even brats like these get worried about her though. Look at Nagisa's face. I never noticed. Notice what? All you need to do is think about it a little. You were just being silly. Again, what are you talking about? When I left, a lot of responsibilities fell down to mom. The bakery, the house will work, the cram school. She's even undertaking work with the neighborhood association along with all that. The old man told me she was off at one of their meetings at some point. It just as Nikita says, you'll realize it if you just think about it a little. Even I hadn't thought that far. No housewife could do all that work all by herself. If that's the case, I'm probably responsible too. And when I took Nagisa away from her. Still, Sanai didn't say even one thing about it. She made sure that she we wouldn't feel at least a little bit indebted to her. Then we went and dug her up her troubles and even found out the things she didn't want us to know. Probably really didn't want Nagisa and me to know about this. All I need to do is just look back. Even when we were in school, she already she was already so busy she couldn't even make lunch boxes for Nagisa. And when I started working at Fruit Color Bread, she was probably happy to finally have some time to do those things. Given Sanai's personality, she probably even sacrificed her dreams for him long ago to take care of Nagisa. May have kept on running this cram school all this time, even while feeling inferior about it. And now we have this. She must have thought it would be a good opportunity to quit. Well. Even we want Sanai Sensei to t teach us. Tachan, there's not something we could, <laughs> we should be saying out loud. Like I said, how old are you? We split off from the kids and head back to the storefront of the Furukawa bread. Thank you very much, Dad. No problem. Thank you that he gives the old man the register. Though it's amazing to see you two being able to go this far for someone else. 
really want to help somehow though. I know I'm grateful for that. So, you think you might be able to do something? No, we're a bit stumped. Oh, well, hey old man. One time I'd say I'd be able to continue your school if you just did more yourself. Then said what I wanted to say. What, well, you think I've just been watching her with a finger in my mouth without doing anything? No, not you at least, Dad. No, I did watch her with my finger in my mouth. <laughs> I heard her actually grab him by his cuff and shout, Hey now, calm down. I wouldn't care one bit, even if she devoted herself fully to her school. But you know, we bake our bread together. That's always been her most precious job. It's what kept our family together. You understand, right, Nikisik? Yeah, of course. Mom wouldn't want to stop doing that. Yeah, asking her would be useless. And we're already doing everything together other than this one thing. So it's a pretty difficult problem we have here. So you're alright with this? Oh, the person you love can't do what she really wants to do. Of course I don't want that. But you see, with the, that personality of hers, the result can't possibly be any good if we try forcing anything. I doubt she likes... <laughs> I doubt the likes of you would understand. That's true. The old man should be the one to understand Sally the most. One week passes after that. Tomorrow... Tomorrow... tomorrow. <laughs> Is the day of the final lesson in the Furukawa Cram School. At this point, there's nothing that can be done anymore. I know this full well. But still. Hey, where are you going? What about lunch? Fine with that. I'm fine without. Once my break arrives, I direct myself to the Furukawa bread. And like usual, the old man isn't here, and the only one attending this tour is Sanai. So, hello. Where is the old man? He took his bat and went off somewhere. At a time like this, God would have cleared the sky. At a time like this, what do you mean? I don't know, well, I find myself lost for words when you ask me. Is Sanai playing dumb here? Or does she not know how worried I am about her? Tomoe san, you've been coming home, coming over quite often lately, haven't you? Yeah. Are you keeping a secret from, <laughs> keeping a secret from Nagisa? Yeah, since she ended up thinking I'd skipping out on work or something. For you to go that far just to come see me. Can it be you love me? My chest starts throbbing. How should I answer her? Um. I mean, we did say. We did. Before the after. Before the after story, we had a we had a choice like this. Yeah, yeah, I love you. I truly think that's the case. Then Nikisa probably misunderstand. Nikisa probably misunderstand, so I'd feel bad. But those are my honest feelings. I love Sanai. Thank you very much. I love you too, Tomoe san ah, Thank you. That's mutual. That's what I was thinking as I thanked her. We both professed our love for each other. It was truly as if Sane were still just a schoolgirl. I felt nostalgic as if I had gotten back to my school days. I knew that embarrassed feeling. <sighs> Sane walks right up in front of me. After smiling at me, she puts her arms around me and holds me tightly. My clothes are all dirty. I'm wearing an apron so you don't need to worry. Sane's body feels warm. I put my nose at the nape of her neck. It's an incredibly nice smell. Nisa would definitely misunderstand if she saw this. Or actually, would it really be a misunderstanding? We really didn't. We're really doing something we shouldn't be doing. And probably be bad if we don't let go soon. However, Sanae only embraced me even stronger than before. And then she strokes my head with both hands. Almost as if she's comforting a child. There's nothing I can teach you, but I can at least do this. Even so, you're quite a big child, aren't you? I feel so ashamed of myself. Is it alright if I ask you about your mother? Yeah. What kind of person was she? I don't remember her at all. She'd been gone ever since I can remember. I was just hoping I could make you feel similar or even just a little. Yeah, I do actually remember one thing. What is it? She had often kissed me. Really now? Probably because I said it playfully, she takes it as a joke and laughs. No, she really would. I should turn back into an impotent child again. What a hopeless boy. 
takes her hand off my head and comes face to face with me. Where would she kiss you? Asks me, her breath tingling on the tip of my nose. Yeah, my mouth. I'm an annoying brat, just like those kids. So this is what I want. I'm certain that at least in regards to Sane, I'd lose out on a lot if I didn't. You're a bit too big for me to give you a kiss on the mouth, to my son. So... I feel a slightly wet and warm sensation on the tip of my nose. Sane San stands on her tiptoe and gives me a kiss on the nose. I wonder how long we stood like that embracing each other. Feels like an eternity. Even after we parted, I could feel Sane's smell lingering at the place we had come together. Keep this a secret from Akio San, okay? Of course, he'd kill me otherwise. Even though I came here because I was worried about her, I was the one who ended up being comforted. Though I wonder if she's, if that's just due to our age difference. Maybe it's just her tolerance as a parent speaking. Tolerance I've never experienced myself. I left the store behind. Uh, Tomoe said, voice from behind me. I looked back to see that Tana had come all the way outside the store. Yeah, do your best with your job, okay? Okay. You too, Sane. Do your best and please don't quit. That's all I could say. There's a lot I wanted to say. My chest feels all jumbled right now, but that wasn't the only thing I was able to say. Yeah? She remembers lo those words. That's all I want. Remember that I agree too. It's like the old man in the. Uh, I will. Sonny sends Miles. I'll leave, but not before responding with a smile that gives her a run for its money. And when I do. Hey, <laughs> Yoshino sends standing there. It seems strange that you kept disappearing so much recently, so this is what I was. That was all about. Seems we still have some time left, so how about you introduce me? Yeah? What are you playing innocent for? Talking about your girlfriend. Wait, who? Didn't you come to see her here? <laughs> My entire body erupts in cold, into a cold sweat. Don't tell me he even saw us embracing each other inside the store. You're still only an apprentice. As a man who's teaching you, I should also take care of your life itself so to speak. Your girlfriend probably wants to meet someone who fills such a role in your life, and I want her to put a faith in me also. I want her to rest assured knowing I'm the one she's entrusted her beloved to. That's why I should- I said you shouldn't introduce us. No. <laughs> I sent her present behind me. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> Is this a colleague of yours to my son? Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Oshino. I'm literally in hell right now. I'm the one currently looking after this guy. I'm Sane Furukawa. I work here at the bakery. Please take good care of Tomoe-san in the future as well, okay? Yeah, of course I will. Oh, I could just unravel this misunderstanding by saying this person's actually my girlfriend's mom, but if you didn't see what we were doing inside, then you'll definitely think we're in some kind of forbidden relationship. <laughs> All you can do is stand there in silence, an unpleasant sweat and emanating from all over my body, all the while. Please finish this already. Yoshino sounds supposed to be bad at conversing to begin with, so I'm sure this should be finished soon. Furukawa san. Wait, Yoshino's done a good conversation from his side? Yeah, what is it? I mean, I can't need someone like you. He's starting off with the worst possible subject I could imagine. Nothing good could come of people like us living all by themselves. We depend on our lives, our whole lives, falling into ruts. However, as long as you're here, we will be able to earnestly and hard. You will be able to work earnestly and hard and earn an income. Even if it's for your own sake, it'll be for his sake as well. It's a really great thing, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. It's a wonderful thing. So please stay with him. Stay with Okazaki. And please let him live his life in order to make you happy. Huh? Tomoe sounds living to make me happy? Of course. Yoshida San infirm her in my place. Really? Thank you very much. But it must be hard on you, Tomoe San. Will it really be alright? I wouldn't mind if you just forgot about someone like me. Huh? So rather than me, please make Nagisa happy and sad, okay? <laughs> Quick question for Rukawa San. Okay. Uh. Who exactly is Nagisa San? Oh, she's uh, the girl living with Tomoe San. Then you are. I'm the girl's mother. 
I see Yoshino-san's face grow, growing pale before my eyes. Okazaki. Y yeah? Go live on your own and lose your footing in life. Leaving those final words, he goes away with the wind. What a wonderful scenery you have there. Yeah, though he's probably going to turn into a terrifying scenery during the day.